Today I want to talk about something I've never talked about, but I think it's so important to talk about, especially as things are becoming even faster. And that is called um, devices. Devices are your computer, your laptop, your phones, your iPad, etc. And it is so important to think about it because that is something that can stress us. So often we use it for business and employment and that's absolutely okay. And it's important that we use it. And it will increase that we will use it. Um, if you think of uh, work warehouses, of course, they are already using software to ship off all the stuff. They document when the packages are packed. So even, so to say, um, jobs we don't really relate to are working with the devices today. So the question is, how are we using it? We all need to use it and it's a great thing to do. But there are tips and tricks how you can reduce, reduce the amount you are using it. And therefore, I will dive into that a little bit today. First of all, we have got something you might not think of at all, but there is something that will decrease the time we need to use our devices. And that is really called AI, called artificial intelligence. And I can tell you, I am using it. I'm not using it really for your videos. And as you see, you, I'm not using an avatar. I'm not copying me voice, etc. But I want you to be aware of it because it saves us time. It saves, saves us time on our devices. And I mentioned business and employment. So try to use AI as much as you can because it will reduce the time you need your devices and it will um, reduce or increase really the productivity you have. And I love using it, for example, for slides. I have to, or I do mostly, I'm um, manually changing the content and um, summarizing it more than I get it on my slides. But I get the ideas of AI. I'm not really often, I'm not really writing things down anymore and then doing it manually. I'm using AI, I'm asking questions, AI, and then the slides, the ideas are there. And often as they have sentences, I use Ch uh, Ch GPT, for example, to add information. And when it's all finished, I put it into words, keywords, so to say, as you normally write slices, but I copy it. I copy and paste it. So I've got the full sentences it gives me, and I've got the short version, the original, so to say, if necessary. And if I'm doing it in German, then it goes through a translator. And it's all really fast. So this way, it depends what it is. Something or um, a new subject can be done in 20 minutes. And I know colleagues who are doing the videos with AI. I don't really like that. That's why I'm here in personal. But I know it will come and one day I suppose I will use it. All these things are really still, I find it quite basic. 
but it's a great way to support that we don't need our some uh, devices as much as we used to and it gives us time for other things for example like um, gaining knowledge like um, improving ourselves so to say to um, train ourselves I'm often listening to audibles or um, reading Blinkist so just to get information and to educate myself so device free time and that's what I'm talking and that's why I put AI in if you want to improve your time management implement device free time and use AI to become faster in other things and this device free time can actually be breaks at work as well it might actually even mean a breathing exercise and when you breathe or inhale and exhale you will just close your eyes and you don't look at the monitor or another thing is where you have device free time is your lunch break don't take your phone with you of course when your daughter needs to ring you because or the school or kindergarten whatever take it with you but don't look at it don't look what's happened on facebook what's happened on instagram what's happened on tiktok um on what's up what's happened on what's up i don't have any groups at all and that is healthy because these groups are really stressful everybody is typing and if even worse you've switched the sound on and it plings pling 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 oh gosh how awful and i switched off all the tones so my mobile phone is quiet if I have somebody really call me back I will switch it on and after I will switch it off again and therefore I don't really have spent much time on me device says or on me phone mainly but on me computer as well and that is so important and I really want to advise you to implement device free time and one really important time is before you go into sleep two hours before you go to sleep you should switch off every device and then you could read a book in paper and enjoy the story dive into it and you will notice you won't read too many pages before you go to bed and go to sleep and that is so important because we need our body and our mind or brain in this case it's not so much mind it's your brain to reduce the uh, no to to increase the melaton just because this is our um substance for sleeping and it has to increase and when you switch on the light or the devices with the blue light your body gets the signal it's daylight and it is important to have certain times to eat as well because then your body knows when you're going to sleep as well so what i'm really advising you focus on the usage it doesn't mean you don't have to use it um, at all no of course we are in the modern world but the question is how are you using it are you just so to say playing around gaming or are you really using it and focus on it when you need to and when it makes sense so now after you have learned about using your device there are 
certainly many other tips I could give you. Um, these are just a few. I would like to invite you and um, to remind you of the masterclass, which is going to take place tomorrow at 5 p.m. So if you haven't registered on Zoom yet, go on to me link tree page and fill in the registration for the masterclass. And something else I want to um, tell you about. I have a newsletter and it can make sense to subscribe to it because there you will get when I publish something. It doesn't matter whether it's a podcast, it's a blog, it's a YouTube video or even a new video on tip in tips and tricks, which is a subscription, a monthly subscription about um, how you are able to reduce your stress. More information you will find in a, the link tree as well. And in the link tree, you will find the newsletter and the page as well.